That's my brush. Appreciate it. So what are we going to talk about this week? This week, man, on the motherfucking Johnny B workout plan, we talking about the journey. Huh? We talking about the motherfucking journey, the process, huh? the mental aspect of motherfucking uh, gains getting, okay? Don't be fucking your grandmas. How the oh. fuck four of y'all grandmas? That's how you living out here? I, I fuck four niggas grandma. I'm not like, I ain't out here, I ain't really trying to brag about it. I guess this is what that would be is bragging. Yeah, I'm out here fucking niggas grandma, so that's an atrocity, brother. That's you Oh you don't watch man. no oh you don't watch Black Mature? Desperate. I watch a lot of black mature porn. That's probably why I got that fetish for grandma's like I do. Uh what a desecrating family lineage. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, motherfuckers? How's it going? It's your boy Johnny B, man. It's your boy Scoop Bob. And we're here with a, another episode of the Johnny B Workout Plan. Today's episode, we want to talk about the journey, okay? We want to talk about the motherfucking journey to greatness. Huh? What's greatness? You can, I don't know if you can make it out, but uh, just a little bit of greatness, okay? Basically, me and my man Scoop, we started out on two opposite ends of the unfit spectrum, okay? I was over here on the left-hand side, fat as hell, okay? All my fatties, make some motherfucking noise, fatties, huh? Make some noise, bitch! Put them cookies down! My man Scoop was on the other end of the spectrum. Right, over here on the right side where all the frail bodies reside. You feel me? Frail body niggas, hold it down. Hold it down, frail bodies! <clears throat> we both... We're on opposite in the spectrum, and it, you can see where we at now. <laughs> it's no listen. It ain't even no reason to really get to talking about where we at now. It's it's not up. For, it's not worth conversation. But what I'm trying to tell you is, no matter what your body type is, no matter what you look like, we're gonna give you the formula to get where you're trying to go. You want to gain. You want to get bulky. You want to get skinny. Whatever you're trying to do, um, you out. You, you're currently watching. The Lord gains. The Lord's gain. The Lord's... Lord's gains? Or the Lord's gain? You, we the best out here doing this shit, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Did Jesus even live? <laughs> I don't, I don't see... Yes, he was <laughs> oh! oh! I don't see anywhere in, in, in the Bible where it lives. <laughs> His bench dead. Or his squat numbers. I don't I don't really see that anywhere. Jesus was a carpenter. It, it, it implies labor. Jesus lifted. Barely? I'm at oh, because he was able to get two by fours? Oh, so we're saying that Jesus did CrossFit. I'm okay. just saying. Ah! That's what we're saying? Ah! Okay. <laughs> did Jesus even lift? <laughs> so basically, we're just going to drop some incredible jewels on y'all as it concerns the non-physical aspect of fitness, huh? The shit that actually makes everything work, the shit that actually makes everything move, is, is this, it's this, okay? You need this and this in order to get that, okay? Yep. Key things are, number one, motivation. Huh? You gotta be motivated. You gotta, you gotta wanna do the shit. You gotta wanna. If you don't wanna do the shit, you're just not gonna do the shit. You're, gonna. you're never gonna like doing the shit because you're not Motivated to do the shit. So you got to find something that makes you want to do it, whether it be a trip, whether it be, you know, just your overall health goals, whether it be somebody you're trying to impress. Yeah, superficial shit like that can be motiva motivation. The point is, it don't matter why, but you have to find your reason why. It don't matter if it's deep, if it's, it ain't got to be philosophical, like, oh, I want to change my life and move toward the light. And oh, No, nah, you ain't got to do that. Like, like my man said, you could just be trying to impress such and such. 
as long as it means something to you. You got to find out what drives you because 80% of the time you're not going to feel like going to the gym. I'm going to be honest. There's few days besides a good chest or a bicep day that I wake up motivated naturally to go to the gym. I have my own personal petty ass reasons as to why I go. Yeah, me personally, I enjoy going to the gym. So, you know, there's, there's, more days than not that I'm looking forward to actually going and, and getting that up off my chest. Because for me, going to the gym is also a stress reliever. So, you know, I might be worked up and I'll go to the gym, throw them weights around, and I'll be feeling pretty good. Um, but also, aside from being motivated, one big thing, because you can get excited and be like, yeah, I'm in the gym for a week and a half. You can do the whole new year, new me thing. The biggest thing is consistency. Finding a routine that you can stick to. Finding something that, that you can handle and, and progress from that. Whether you're starting off, all right, cool, I'm just going once a week and I'm doing whatever. Start with something and progressively grow from there. Otherwise, you know, all that effort you started off putting in will be worth nothing because you're just going to relapse and sometimes end up worse than you were when you first started. Boom! Motherfucking bullseye emoji, bitch. You got to find something that's going to get you out that Bed. Because everybody's not like Scoop and enjoys the gym. Most people, you, you, it's a reason that you look like you look. It's because you don't like the gym. You got to motivate. You got to find. Ah, oh, I wish I had two or three praying swole niggas. And sometimes somebody else is going to be that motivation. Sometimes if you can't get it yourself, you might need a partner to, to keep pushing. I want to go ahead and throw that out there as a motherfucking major key. Okay? Get a partner. If you are not a gym nigga, okay, if you're not already an athlete, if you're not already used to going to the gym and working out, get you a partner with a similar schedule and with similar goals to work out with. That's important. Got to be similar Because I ain't going to even front. I, I would not be nowhere close to where I'm at if, if me and Scoop didn't go at this together because it was feeding off Scoop's energy and, and, and motherfucking feeding off that both of us out here trying to look like the Lord, okay? What I'm saying is you don't have to, but if you are a person who has a hard time uh, being self-motivated, get you a fucking partner. It's one of the most valuable things you could do. And, uh, you know, don't get the wrong partner. If you can't find a decent partner to match your <clears throat> work ethic and your goals and shit, just go at it alone. Get on cocaine. And listen, man, as a sidebar, if you want to look like the Lord, if you're trying to look like Jesus, then go ride bikes or some shit, all right? Because I've never seen a picture of Jesus with rear delts, okay? I've never seen <laughs> Jesus triceps poking. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what he benches. I don't know any of that, right? So if you're trying to look like the best version of you, uh, like, subscribe, follow the channel, listen to these tidbits that we're going to drop on you. Motherfucking right. You understand what I'm saying? But if you want to look like, you know, images of Jesus and whatnot, then, you know, you can... Flick some ropes around or some shit. I don't yeah, know. man. Do some motherfucking uh, poor form pull-ups or something. Yeah, go ahead and do them, them flip-flop memes. Uh, yeah. Don't look like Jesus. <laughs> look like Samson or somebody. <laughs> somebody who was gangster in the Bible. <laughs> somebody was out here. <laughs> Jesus damn sure ain't had no real adults and no nah, picture that I seen. Nah, I've never seen Jesus. Uh, he, had, he had hella collarbone. He had hella collarbone. I've never seen, you know, no pecs, though. Jesus went out here ripped. Nigga Mel Gibson. Ah, like Jesus was on that keto diet like shit. You feel me? Mel Gibson and the Patriot did not look like Mel Gibson and ah. Christ. You feel me? Those those are two different niggas. I don't know. No, they are two different niggas. <laughs> <laughs> it was Jim Caviezel. Oh yeah, Jake. It was Jim Caviezel. Well, he won't swole either. <laughs> Jim Caviezel won't swole neither. He won't swole either. Nigga could take a beating, but you know, nigga won't swole. Okay. Nah, no, nah, he yeah, wasn't. Niggas out here doing this. This on them crucifixes though. Watch your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of the biggest misconceptions about this workout shit is the amount of time it actually takes you to get results. Now, I understand your bodies are going to vary depending on where you're starting from, your genetics and all that kind of shit. But if you really get into it kind of hard, if you're going in there doing what you got to do, we looking at, what, like 12 weeks before you, before you start seeing some real noticeable results? Right. And see, that's depending on your body type. That's depending on how hard you're going. That's depending on if you dieting good, dieting well, excuse me. Exactly. The point is... Like, people get this big misconception about the time frame that it takes to get godly. It it doesn't take, it don't take no time. And we're talking about what, doing strength training, training what, three times a week? Exactly. 
Exactly. We talk about strength training, first of all. First of all, let me just throw this out here. Personally, I am an advocate and I am an activist for strength training, okay? Lifting weights. It is the best scientifically proven way. This is not my opinion. It's the best way, the quickest way to burn calories, burn fat, um, just straight science, okay? When you go and you're on your treadmill for an hour a day, you only burn whatever calories you've burned during that session on the treadmill or the Stairmaster or the bike or whatever fucking hippie shit you want. But lifting weights, you're constantly burning calories for days and days and days and days because the reproduction, not the re, the regeneration process of the muscles that you just torn apart <coughs> in your workout um, is burns the mo more calories than anything else on earth. So the point is, man, it doesn't take long. Okay? It doesn't take long. You can turn that body that you currently have into a body that, you know, doesn't make you cringe when you look in the mirror. Okay? Are you a man with women breasts? Damn. I once was. <laughs> this shit turned into an infomercial. <laughs> yeah. I once was a man with woman tits. <laughs> they used to call me bitch. They used to call me bitch tit Barmore is what they used to call me. Okay, because they're properly known as bitch tits. Right. They call me. They used to call me bitch tit B. So what I'm trying to tell you is, whatever body you want, in 16 weeks, you don't have to diet forever. It'd be good to maintain a diet for a long period of time, but you don't have to not eat your favorite foods for the rest of your life. You got to just figure out a way to maintain your diet and get to a a place where, all right, cool, today I'm going to eat some bullshit. Tomorrow I'm going to go extra hard in the gym. It's just a balance type thing, man. But once you get in control of your body, you can do those things. Listen, I had some Heath Bar sugar cookies last night. Bro, I had a uh, brownie sundae last night from, uh, what was that shit? Joe's on Juniper's? And ain't that crazy? We just still over here looking like the Lord. <laughs> what I'm saying is, children. <laughs> what you say? We just proved that y'all actually are looking like Samson or something. <laughs> right, right, right. You know what? You're right. We ain't trying to look like the Lord. All right, I, we ain't trying to look like the Lord. We trying to look like I don't know. D listen, uh, I'm gonna say y'all fucked up my spiel, man. I, yeah, that man. Was, that was what I was running with, and y'all just y'all just, just made swept it sound the rug like the Lord looked like Lance Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right, because the Lord does look like Lance. That nigga look like Tom Green and motherfucking... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're not selling Livestrong, man. Like, this, 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 this <laughs> the Lord out here built like Andy Dick with a robe on film. <laughs> does anyone else remember Andy Dick? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> man, what a cultural oh, gem. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, that nigga Jesus was frail as hell, bro. <laughs> Working out, adopting fitness in your life will help you with whatever daily tasks that you currently have. It'll help you be more motivated by the time you get to work. It'll help you be more motivated to knock out whatever things that you want to do because you realize if I apply this same level of consistency, effort, and motherfucking motivation, dedication to whatever I'm doing, everything, <laughs> all, all of my gains in life will be glorious. Okay? Absolutely. Absolutely. And as you progress in the gym, man, I feel like naturally you'll get more confident in the gym and that confidence will start to exude in everything else. Because it's like, shit, I wasn't able to lift this 40, 50 pounds. Now I'm lifting twice that. Twice that. So left. it's like if you apply that to everything else in your life, when you're starting off, you're not going to be able to do the shit that you're trying to do initially. But eventually, it's going to be your warm-up. It's going to be, you know, easy shit to you. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? All, it all applies. It's all relative. And it's all you. <clears throat> That's what I love the most. It's you. It's fucking you, my nigga. That's why it's so cold. Can't nobody take it. Can't nobody say shit about it. Can't nobody. It's you. My bad. But this, this fucking fitness shit, it's my shit. Because it shows us what we are truly capable of. You understand? I was out here looking like <clears throat> a burlap sack of pennies. Okay? A burlap sack? Like, specifically a burlap sack. Okay. A burlap sack. It's pretty specific. I was just. M that's filled with pennies. And like old ass, misshapen pennies. Okay? Um, and now, you know, now is now. 
That's all I'm gonna say about that. Say to Man, myself, let's wrap this shit up though. Let's just go ahead and all wrap right. this on up. So today, kids, we've given you a lot of jewels of wisdom uh, as it concerns our personal journey with fitness and things. I finally think I've been thinking this whole time of a good analogy of what I was built like when I was young. I was built like a meerkat. <laughs> <laughs> like Timon and Pumbaa. Ah! You know, I had the small chest with the. He was Timon, yeah. I was Pumbaa, basically. Yeah. Said an otter. yeah. They like. Got I was, you know, I was shit. contemplating. He had the burlap sack of uh, pennies and shit. I'm like, damn. I <coughs> Why not help, though? What's, what? No, uh, Timon and Pumbaa was an excellent example. That, that was a good. Because I definitely, personally, I definitely was out here looking like Pumbaa. <laughs> okay? Hakun no Matata. You feel me? Man, I got that old head with some life. Don't treat a nigga like I don't